What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are back at the Gramercy Theater, and today we are here with Alex of Despised Icon. Thank you for your time, man. What's going on, man? Happy to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you here. The newest record is Purgatory. Uh, do you just want to give a rundown like, on how the making of this record was? Is it like a direct follow-up to Beast, or do you think that this is like a standout of, in the Despised Icon catalog? Well, musically, um, Beast was written pretty rapidly. We announced uh, that we were officially back, and then um, all that was put together um, very fast. Uh, the writing process, recording, everything but it has a very raw, energetic, uh, a little bit stripped down in comparison to our previous records. Very death metal, very reminiscent of our earlier days. And uh, I'm really stoked on Beast and how it came out and, and, and uh, what we wanted to ach achieve with that record. But with Purgatory, we had a lot more time to, you know, experiment, uh, try out different ideas. It was a very organic process. We didn't set out to write this type of song or th that type of song. And uh, I don't know what I was saying. Yeah. Um, no, that was all good. That was a great rundown. Um, and yeah, so we had a lot more time to experiment. Uh, I feel like the new record, Purgatory, is a lot more varied. Uh, we wrote some of our fastest songs on there, some of our most technical songs as well. Uh, but now more than ever, we play what the song demands. So it's not just about showing off, you know, if it's a simple four chord riff, but it it's heavy hitting and that's what the song demands. As I said, then so be it. So I really like the vibe. Everything's really organic. Um, spent less time editing, I'd say, um, uh, longer takes, um, I don't know, the, the sound wise, we worked with Chris Donaldson from Cryptopsy. He's an old friend. We've toured with Cryptopsy, so he gets the band. Uh, the record is produced by Yannick, our old guitar player, Eric and myself. So, you know, Yannick, who did what five, six years in the band, he knows what we're about, what we're trying to achieve with every record, what we're supposed to sound like. So it's, it's, uh, we always keep it, you know, within the family, you know, um, our drummer's cousin recorded the vocals with, uh, Steve and I, he plays an eye on dissonance. We toured a bunch with them as well. And, uh, I feel like it's a very personal effort and I feel like purgatory is a lot more varied and, uh, yeah, I can't wait to share it with all you guys. Awesome. What I'm curious is being that you and Steve uh, sing together, like, do you guys have to kind of be like on the same level emotionally or inspiration wise to write lyrics? And <laughs> how's it going? Or like, does one person come up with lyrics and maybe one person has to like adjust their voice to that? Like when it comes to singing together, how do you kind of make it so you're both like it's like a level playing field in the song? Uh, I mean, it's it's quite simple, actually, like uh, as far as like who sings where. Um, our intention uh, when we started this band, you know, we wanted to um, have hardcore influences and, and death metal influences. And, and Steve is, is the death metal guy in the band. He's also the grindcore, you know, high pitched scream. And I'm like the, the mid vocals more uh, reminiscent of the hardcore sound or whatever. And, uh, you know, whatever type of riff um, is going on in a particular song, it's kind of easy to pick out who sings where. And, uh, um, I tend to take the lead, but uh, I always run every idea by Steve and normally, He's down, and normally, uh, yeah, I feel like it's step by step. It was pretty easy, actually. Yeah, it's just uh, we've been a band for 17 years, so it's just at this point, it's just instinct, truthfully. Of course, as somebody who has seen you live, this is going to be my third time seeing okay. Despise Icon tonight. I thought I think it's a completely different experience hearing your material live than just simply listening to you. For you, is there a similar energy that you channel into your live presence as you do, like in the vocal booth, or is it a completely separate mind frame altogether? You mean when I'm recording, if I'm in the same type of uh, mindset as I'm in when I'm performing? Yep. Uh, not at all. I, when I'm, I'm in the vocal booth, I'm normally stressed out because I'm very demanding myself of myself, demanding of Steve. Uh, you know, um, uh, I have a specific idea in mind and I want to achieve it on record. And sometimes it takes more than a couple tries, you know, uh, but ultimately... Uh, us taking the time to do so the record benefits from that but uh when i'm in when i'm performing live it's just uh it's easy the song is recorded and we've rehearsed it a bunch and we've toured on it a bunch and it's uh and it's and it's easier to sing you know with a crowd you know for me it's a show is not just the band it's the interaction with the crowd you know everybody in the pit they're just as part of the show as we are and uh I feel like it's easier to perform or sing in general uh, in that type of setting, you know, for myself personally. Yeah, you but yeah. feed off the crowd. Yeah, exactly. Well put. Yep. 
Now, um, as I mentioned before, uh, you also play with Obey the Brave. What I was curious is how different of like a mind frame is it, or does maybe experimenting with that project allow you to maybe bring some newer things into Despise Icon, or do you keep them completely separate entities? Well, random fact, Ben from Despise Icon, he joined Obey the Brave as well, playing guitar in Despised, bass in uh, OTB. Uh, so obviously we keep it in the family there as well. Uh, as far as like how uh, both bands defer, you know, um, Despised Icon is very death metal oriented, influenced, uh, still in the deathcore scene, obviously. Uh, and Obey the Brave, uh, I, mean, I don't know, we're just trying to achieve something completely different. It's a different scene. It's more uh, hardcore punk influenced, uh, but still being metalcore, a different type of audience. And uh, for Ben and I, it, it offers us the opportunity to acknowledge, uh, you know, uh, different musical influences, you know, because obviously we love death metal, but uh, we also listen to a whole bunch of other types of music. So um, that's uh, that's the fun thing about doing two bands. You can do something way different and experiment here and there. And, and um, I feel like uh, I've improved as a songwriter and as a musician in general because of that, you know? Um, yeah, I see people in various bands and they just sound the same. So what's what's the point, you know? But it is what it is to each their own. You do what you want. But uh, as far as Despise and OTB are concerned, that's what I want to do. So, yeah. There you go. And uh, the final question I want to ask you is, it's always the hardest question for every artist to answer. Hit so me. how do you know when a song is done? Hmm. As he takes a drink, he needs to brace. Oh my God, you dude! Like back in the day, it used to be a puzzle. Everything had to be like well planned and calculated, and we we had this idea of what the song had to be before it was even written. And now it's like I don't know. Like I said, we just vibe. It's just instinct at this point. Uh, Eric, uh, our guitar player, Grind, our drummer, and myself, we've written so many songs and despise Icon, and it just comes naturally. And now more than ever, we just write riffs, and afterwards we just take a step back and just piece them all together. And uh, I don't know, we, we learned how to let go before everything had to be super calculated. And now it's just, yeah, I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Like this interview right now. Yeah. We're done. Exactly. Exactly. So before we go, I want to thank you so much for your time today. It's going to be a kick-ass show tonight. Is there just anything else you would like to promote? Uh, before Because Purgatory is coming out in November. Is there just yes. Uh, Purgatory, our sixth studio album, comes out November 15th on Nuclear Blast. If you like what you hear, check it out, stream it, buy it, do whatever you want, truthfully. Uh, and yeah, as I pointed out, we've been a band for 17 years. It's uh, it's 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 actually pretty crazy to me that people still listen to our music. So anybody watching this, thank you so much for the support. Can't wait to share more music with you guys. Peace. Awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody, we are here with Alex of Despised Icon Purgatory out in November. Buy it then while supplies last forever. This is Alex from Heavy New York, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> that was beautiful.